what's going on guys welcome back to the channel into a brand new series i want to share some awesome news with you guys as you see weather is starting to get beautiful it's middle of march which means that we're about to begin a driving or racing season in the last few few days we made quite a few interesting purchases with me and my friends which i'm about to show you right now we decided we're gonna go racing this year in particular we're gonna enter into 24 hours of lemons with that being said we obviously needed a car a good candidate for 24 hours of lemons so let me show you what we uh what we purchased as you see we have three e46 chassis cars in front of us right here for all you e46 fans out there let's see if you guys could guess which one is the possible candidate obviously is not the car on the left and it most likely is not the car on the right which means it's the car in the middle this is our lemons candidate this is our 325 xi bmw this is what we have found within the allowable budget so in this video i'm gonna give you a walk around of this particular car and share what's uh, what's wrong with it and how this w can qualify for 24 hours of lemons that we purchased this for and by the way we purchased this one last week as well but that's another video in itself so likely the most the cheapest e46 m3 currently in us but i'm gonna get into that later on for now let's focus on this e46 four-door sedan now the lemons rules are you could enter any car into the lemons race which is approximately 500 dollars in value so you're probably asking yourself how the hell is this b3 series bmw in somewhat good condition worth 500 dollars which i'm gonna explain to you in a second so you get full history first let me disclose the price we purchased this very model for 900 dollars which is a little bit above $500 maximum allowable budget but that's okay because you could offset the cost if you sell some of the parts of the car to bring the total price down a bit which is exactly our plan so let me give you a walk around and tell you exactly history of this car and um, how we are planning of uh, achieving our goal making this a $500 race car as you could see it's a little bit dinged up up front it was in a front end accident and somebody fixed it at some point not to the best of standards some of the gaps don't line up it, uh, it got dings all around this is a 2004 3 series 325 ix drive with ready manual transmission which is exactly what we need for this type of race this is gonna be a fun uh fun uh, little race car you could see got dings on the roof right there got a ding in the back on the trunk basically what you would expect for a low-cost bmw now does it run it does run let me start it for you real quick let me show you some of the inside as obviously we have this is a full interior and this is the major factor how we're going to drive the cost of this car down because we're planning of selling literally everything that's inside here to bring the cost down to five hundred dollars we plus we also got some spare parts from the prior owner because car has few issues which he purchased cars for parts for and he never fixed it so we got some extra parts which we probably won't need so we're gonna sell those as well by the way the car has hundred and fifty five thousand miles on it and yes it does run starts right up obviously it's not running in perfect condition but we could address that as you see this is the engine right here somebody did some modifications to this engine prior with some i don't know off the market uh air intake system but the car runs so the major factor of this car being so cheap is because as you see it was in the front end accident and the radiator 
is kind of uh, cracked uh, or not radiator the radiator support is kind of cracked in few places which caused for this vehicle to be salvaged out and issued a rebuilt title that was another factor why this car was so cheap is because it had prior damage and it had a rebuilt title which drives down the, the values of these cars tremendously especially if there's something wrong with it went ahead and turned off the engine so you guys could hear me better so the main issue with this car is the low engine is low on power at high rpms which prior owner said that he took it to a shop and they quoted him some ridiculous amount to replace the cats he actually purchased one of the cats and that's one of the factors uh, why I, he wanted to sell the car the car actually sat for half a year we just started this yesterday first time in about six months but other than that they would drive the owner prior owner drove this rebuilt title car he said for about a year and a half so it did run and i don't think that issue is something that we cannot easily address i know a ton, ton of resolutions how you could fix that problem with basically buying no parts which this is what this series is gonna be about we're gonna make this car into a lemon competitive vehicle i'm gonna address all the issues we're gonna go through a process of putting in the cage gutting everything out i know there's a there's a quite a quite popular channel out there that converted this similar type of vehicle into a lemons use as well we're gonna try to do a little bit different styles to show you some different aspects of preparing this car and uh keeping it interesting for you guys by the way this is a four-wheel drive version in the manual which is kind of rare in these cars i guess so uh that's gonna be some experience on the track as well in itself but uh let me guys in, know in the comments what do you guys think about our lemons car whether whether this was a good choice or uh, we could have picked something better um looking forward to this experience i never prepared a race car before especially the uh inside the uh, the cage welding and all that stuff we're gonna be doing that all in house so you guys will see how uh how few uh friends could put pull this together so let's see you know uh, again comment down below and i'll catch you in the next video where we're gonna start taking this car apart and prepping it for the cage